So as, as we've been talking about here, um, the physical, you know, physical strength, mental strength and spiritual strength. I was thinking about it. And for me, that order is in reverse. For me, it starts with spiritual strength. So what does spiritual strength come from? I mean, it's being thankful that you get to play. Uh, looking at it as using the gifts and talents that God gave you. And we all, and the thing is with this is that we all have different talents and we all have different gifts and we can play different roles. We're not all made the same way, which is makes it perfect. That's what makes a team. Um, and then trusting God that he is in control and with you, whether you win or lose, he's always going to be there. Um, you're not no less important to him if you win the game or if you lose the game. It's about how you handle handle both of them, winning with humility and losing with grace. Those are important things. Um, and so, I guess what I'm trying to say is, it starts with being thankful to God for the talent and ability to play hockey. And if you have that first. You then mentally, you can focus on giving your best effort as a way to thank God for being able to play. And if you're giving your best effort, it's only natural that you're going to improve your physical strength when you're in your skating and your shooting and those aspects that, you know, important parts of being a hockey player. But for me, it starts with the spiritual strength because that gives me the mental focus to, to want to work hard for God because he gave, gave me these talents. And then if I'm working hard, again, it's just natural that you're going to continue to improve. Um, I was also thinking a little bit about, you know, what does it mean to be a complete player? For me, I was talking about being able to say a prayer before going to the rink. And what's important about that for me is that it gets me thinking the right way, thinking about the important things. What do I want to get out of my practice or my game that day? And for me, I said earlier, it's giving my best effort. So that's, you know, working hard, giving my best effort that day, some days you're going to feel better than others. Some days you're going to play better than others, but ultimately giving your best effort, being a supportive teammate and having fun. So what does it look like to give your best effort? Basically doing the best you can. Um, we all know when, when we're giving our best effort, we can look at ourselves and say, did I do my best today? Some, you know, I can't look at Scott and some days and say, he's not giving his best. He only, he really knows if he's giving everything he has. And really that's all that God asks of us. And anything that we do is to just give our best effort, be honest in our effort. And that's all, that's all that we can ask of ourselves. And that's all God asks of us. So the next thing is being a supportive teammate, which I think personally is probably the most important thing of being a hockey player and just life in general, in school, um, whatever it is you guys end up doing. If you play other sports, uh, if you want to be a doctor, a teacher, a truck driver, whatever it is you want to do. Um, and what does that look like? That looks like we talked about earlier, encouraging others. Uh, if they're having a hard time with a drill, uh, if they're having a bad, maybe they're not having their best game, um, you can reassure them that you're there to help. You can encourage them, say, you know, you got this, keep trying. Because it really, it really helps. We talked about the mental part. You can help each other with the mental part of the game. You can keep each other positive, right? Um, other than just words there's easy things you can do you can give a tap on the, the pads if it's a goalie tap on the shin pads you know a high five a fist bump um, 
it's also really important that, you know, before and after games, we're in the dressing room that, you know, you're not taking part in any teasing or making fun of, that you're making sure that everybody's feeling welcome and feeling a part of the team, right? We all, we all know how important it is to really feel included. And, um, you know, again, that's the great thing about being on a team. And that's the great thing about hockey, the sport of hockey is it's a team sport. It's not tennis or golf where you don't have teammates. That's the fun thing. Uh, we talked earlier about, you know, not getting frustrated and slamming your stick. And um, that's really important to be, a, you know, a supportive teammate. Um, when things maybe aren't going your way, that you're still able to stay positive and stay focused. Uh, and I think listening and respecting your coaches and the refs, that's also really important because, supportive teammates know how important it is to uh, have the respect of the coach and you want to respect the refs because their job's not too easy. Right. So um, the last thing is having fun. Right. Um, pretty simple, but hockey is meant to be fun. God wants us to have fun. Hockey was created to have fun. So show up at the rink, have a smile on your face, you know, every shift, every drill, enjoy it. Right. It's someone told me once that something I tried to think of was a really simple phrase. Every shift is a gift. So every time you get to go out there, it just keeps you in a real positive mindset. You know, you're very fortunate and thankful that you get to play. And that's going to keep you in the right, right mind frame. Um, so lastly, I'll wrap it up is, you know, at, at the hockey camp, what do we do at the end of every practice? We huddle up, we say a prayer. So I like after games, I get in the dressing room. I like to just say a little prayer, quick prayer to God. Thank him for that day's practice, um, that game, um, you know, Yeah, I, I think it's just so important to be thankful that we get to play, that we're healthy, that we get the opportunity to play. And again, when you're thankful and you're grateful, it keeps you in a positive mindset. You can't help but be positive. Um, and I will say, once you say that prayer, you're then in your head, you're going to be think, thinking in a thankful way. Make sure you thank your parents, thank your coaches. Um, my parents were so supportive of me. None of us would get to the rink if it wasn't for our parents. We wouldn't have gear if it wasn't for our parents. So um, it's important to thank them and the coaches as well, because they take a lot of time to, to coach us and um, try and help us develop as, as players and as young boys and girls, right? So um, those are a few things I thought were important. And I, I hope that you guys can use some of them and that'll help your your game and help you guys as hockey players and as, as people. And like I've always said, uh, it's so important that we try our best to be positive in influences and impacts on one another, and especially our peers, those that are like around the same age as us. Um, a quick story, Scott and I, as he said, we went to high school together. And Scott doesn't even know this until this day but he was a major influence on me in high school just by the way he carried himself and how on fire he was for God and how he treated other people. And, you know, it was so easy to tell that he cared. And I remember thinking, man, like, I like how this guy carries himself. I want to do more of that. I want to be more like that. So you guys all have a chance to do that. And you're all capable of it. And that's 16 years ago. So that's most of you guys weren't even born. And I still remember that. So even the things you guys do today, they can have long, long impacts on people. All right. Well, I just must say, Adam, that, that, that just, um, that was the best presentation I've ever heard. Uh, it was clear. 
it was concise. It was um, a plan, a game plan that everyone can follow. And why it resonated with me and should everyone who listened, if you know Adam, Adam just doesn't talk. A lot of people write books, they talk, they tell you what you should do, but they haven't really done it. But we know with Adam McQuaid, one of the finest people from PEI, I know, and there's some great people from PEI. He speaks from the heart and he's lived it. And I'll just say to everyone, and I'll give it back to Scott, um, Adam is retired and it just came out. It's on the hockey website, the NHL.com uh, just put it up today, Adam. And Adam's now going to start the second stage of his life, which is going to be just as exciting, uh, have maybe more of an importance in his and Stephanie's life uh, as he goes forward. So when you're saying your prayers tonight, and you're thinking about Adam, just say, Lord, you know, help Adam find the answer to what he wants to do in the next stage of his life. And I'm not God, Adam, but you, with what you, how clear, concise, inspiring you were, I'd like to see you be a coach. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> but wherever you are led, I'm just so thankful that you're a friend and you so inspired me as well as everyone else. And, and thank you, Scott. Uh, unless Adam have you have one final word, otherwise we'll throw it to Scott. You good? No, I just, I, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks to all, all you guys for listening um, and for coming on and spending some time with us. Again, it was so great to see everybody, and um, hopefully we'll see you guys all again soon.